dollars today i'm gonna get raw like i normally do i give it to you only the truth and how you could do it to make it happen and so if you're new of course join the army and go ahead and give this video a huge a thumbs up and are y'all ready because i'm really ready to talk about this it's been a while on my channel since i've gotten into these types of talk i may not talk about what you guys can do to get her going to get her turned on and all those things but in this video it's going to be more of the things that you never <laughs> really ever ever hear okay fellas so please give this video a huge thumbs up and you know tell me right now you want the part two but you know what watch a little bit and then if you want you can tell me then okay but if you haven't already like i said give this video a big thumbs up and so this first spot that you guys could go ahead the secret spot is the back of the ear now there's other spots that i'm gonna mention in the next upcoming videos where it's like you know you kind of hear about it but then i can kind of explain how this is a spot or that is what she likes but for now i'm kind of gonna give you guys more of like the real real like what you don't really really hear it and here's the thing back to ears the back of the ear in general i feel like some fellas out here especially maybe you guys that are somewhat experienced if you're really experienced obviously this is more towards you but some fellas understand that you know the ear is really a sensitive area and just in general for anybody if you're touching it it either can be really bad or really good but then also how you're touching it could actually lead to the results of it being really good or really bad so for a lot of women of course once again you have to be like kind of in that setup space where it makes sense you never just jump on her and just like okay well this is that spot that i heard about so you know what let me get behind that ear no you don't get behind the ear because you heard about it or you you don't just hang with her and then you know everybody has their own type of session or how they deal with whoever they're dealing with but for you you don't just get with her hang out with her and be like let me go straight to that spot because it makes the most sense so making sure for sure the room is set up the environment is actually correct for the spot as in you know you waited some time but also there was music playing there was a vibe going so realistically just so you guys do know any spot or just anything that you do in general that comes down to where it gets serious like that like that y'all know what i'm talking about but <laughs> when it gets serious like that there has to be kind of like i won't really say climax but because, you know, that, that kind of applies when things get really, really serious. But overall, like, there has to be a leading up to, especially when you're dealing with modern day women, when they have so many different options, so many different guys that are on their line, ready to hang out with them. And, you know, some people can say ready to have an appointment with them, you know. So it's like these things, you know, it's like you you got to you gotta know timing matters, but it definitely depends on if this makes sense to happen right now, does it make sense for you to make this type of move? And that's really what I'm directing this towards. It's a move that you guys make, right? And so it leads to you going ahead and touching an area that's not what she would expect you to. But here's the thing, it feels good for a lot of women. And honestly, as much as this sounds like it's out of the ordinary, the, the correct thing to do is be slow with whatever it is like you know you got to be really gentle with women you want to take your time especially if you do not really know her <laughs> come on fellas you shouldn't don't like don't do that to yourself but when you're trying to get a no get to know a woman or we can say let's say you guys been talking for a while right in that process or dating for a long time you still have to know her you have to still keep understanding her so unfortunately getting to know her is going to be like taking your time but also when you get to know her you're also opening her mind and having her be more interested to what you could do now here's the thing once again with the back of the ear it doesn't happen where it's like you would just do this with any girl or it just happens so often it only happens where this type of you know chemistry you know just to kind of not be too extreme but let's say chemistry type of vibe type of connection is at this level where okay you know what we're we're trying or, or we're wanting different things here's the thing for my fellas that are not understanding i'll make it so clear for you guys when a woman meets a guy that she's really, really into, 
So let's talk about he got money. He's popping. You know, he was he was a jock in high school. That doesn't really matter. You know, he's highly favored because, you know, he does his thing, does it very well, always respected for it, whatever, whatever. There's a lot of different things about this guy. Okay, cool. She's going to be dealing with him. You know what? If she has other guys that are just like him, her value, her interest, you know, is kind of changing. It's kind of like, well, I guess... That guy has to have this because it's going to be more than that guy. So realistically speaking, in modern day, we have women that deal with guys all the time, of course. But they fall into the same category. Until the guy that comes with the richest gosh, expenses, richest car, has more money. Until that guy comes with that top status, she's only looking at guys almost all the same. So the reality is, is once she starts looking at that guy differently as in, oh, well, he has the most money out of all these five. And hey, she might be super, super, or can we say like this, double for the streets. So for her being double for the streets and the block and the hospital and neighborhood and the trenches, if that's the case, she's going to look at that one guy that's having the most, you know, not doing the most, but having the most, got it going on. Not like the other guys where, you know, it's like she wants to get to the top where she has it going on like that. But the other guys that are 10 guys, a little bit less, whatever, they don't have it like that. So whether you're at the balance, you're just more better than those other guys that she's dealing with. And what happens? She's going to be more into those type of things where you guys are doing the crazy, weird, wild things. Now, I say it like this because these spots, whether it's even the lips or it's any pl place that's so obvious, right? There's so many places that you would think instantly if you went, out, went ahead, sorry, and made that move, you're going to get her like, yeah, I love it. Like, she likes that. That's the spot. No, fellas. She has to be mentally in that mood. How do you think a woman can be around a guy that she's completely not attracted to, has no interest? And then on top of that, that guy doesn't obviously have the status, money, and all those other things that women normally go for. So physically, he's not attractive, and then obviously he doesn't have everything else that she's asking for. How do you think in those cases a woman is going to be comfortable or wanting to want him to even, you know, put a finger let alone a pinky on her, you know, let alone, you know, just a, just a, like, let me get close and give you a hug. Like nothing, nothing at all. There's nothing that a woman's going to be wanting, interested or should because once again, other options. So the same way she will for that guy that she likes. And I already gave you guys examples why she would think of the typical things that women go for. But because that guy has it going on more than those other guys, he might not be the top of the league he's still turning her on he's still giving her interest and giving her interest not actually giving her something to be interested about but he's giving her interest as in i'm her her sake i'm interested i'm i'm interested and just not knowing enough about you, but wanting to know more, and it just gets her going. This is why it's so important for you guys to be mysterious at all times because, excuse me, you're not burping, <laughs> but no, sorry, you guys, I to say, excuse me for real. Uh, but this is why it's so important for that interest to be gone. Like, if she's actually into you, she's gonna let things happen and she's gonna be open to it. So, Oftentimes, she's closed off. A lot of women are actually just really closed off to the idea of getting to this this part. Like, to getting to the point of you comfortably touching her. You comfortably being around her. You doing whatever it is that she would really, really want from a guy that actually has money and status. Like, it's gonna maybe take a while for you to get that point. But realistically, the reason why there's spots or there's secret areas that women want you to go ahead and... And, you know, do your one-two moves simply because she's ready for you to do it, key thing. But obviously, she's into you somewhat in that moment. But it still falls into key thing because why is she into you? And, like, oftentimes, you know, obviously, when you look attractive, that's a bonus. That's a great thing. That matters, right? And it's like you got to use it to your advantage, but you can't use it to your advantage when women are competing or not really competing, but more so when they have a man, they're making them compete 
against other men because they have so many options so you can't really expect yourself to to force yourself onto this woman's life but only to do your part as a man as far as making sure you have your money status being able to be a leader being able to be the man that you could be not for a woman but because this is in your nature because this is built in you so realistically just so we can get back on topic you're gonna ultimately have this woman wanting you to do the weirdest wildest and it's not even really you know the kinky things that matter or hey you guys are exploring it's really just down to when a woman gets to that place i was gonna say spot when she gets that space that place comfortable comfortability comfortability with you then it's any spot in general but it's gonna be like it's only those spots are tender more triggered more oh yep that's right you got it right or do it again only because of everything else being correct that i mentioned in this video so i could name a whole bunch of other spots but you know what this is a discussion type of channel if you guys do not know so i just will wrap up with saying that the back of the ear it's not just that it's not just the back it's really around her ear as well it's also what do you do with your lips is it soft are you using the correct things to make sure that it's not dried up come on it's not winter time you know although your girl's canadian and and you know out here it still gets cold sometimes whatever um but it's not winter time where you gotta be so so worried about your lips getting chopped because of the cold so really make sure that you're actually being you know attentive to your hygiene being attentive to how she could want more because you smell good you look good this looks refreshing absolutely delicious looks more attractive wants more she wants more of that like it has to lead to her wanting more so it's like you can't this is what i want to say because we're getting at the end you can't expect her to get into the environment and want to do all these things or want to do this or want you to these do these things or use your hands to do certain things in order in order for that to happen you have to get her to get going to that direction so after all this that i said that she has options that this could go where she tries this way those are all relevant but you you still have a job to do where you got to get her to the place of where you need her to be so <sighs> fellas any more clear she changes her mood or she decides how she wants or if she's gonna allow things to happen based on you so once again certain guys can't do certain things with that woman that woman you want because she's choosing she's choosy as in that guy can't because hey well this doesn't line up he doesn't have that money status all that stuff blah 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 that's already already something that's blocking you from getting what you want from her but also she's not open to actually even letting you give her a hug once again so it's like you have to get a woman to expand her thinking with you does that make stand <laughs> make sense i find that so funny because it's like why would i even like what how do i the work i know the work that goes behind it but fellas hear me out it's like a patient process because either you're gonna rush it and ruin it or you know with her you gotta be careful so it's like you just be yourself in the process but also if you do what you gotta do as a confident and i haven't said this all video all, all this whole entire video but if you do be confident then it's gonna let you actually make moves touch her go ahead and apply pressure lift her up there's a lot of stuff that said that you could do that leads up to you could do whatever you know she wants this from you but it's really going to be down to, hey, you know what? This makes sense. This backs it up. You can't, once again, we're done with this video pretty much. But once again, don't think any man, you can't specifically just come into this environment because you feel this way about yourself and boom, like you don't have nothing to back it up, but you just know you could put your hands here, do that, do this. No, it doesn't work like that. When you have everything to back it up and then you also have yourself, as in your confidence, you, you. When you have to back yourself up, you back yourself up, as in you're your strongest person. You're your alpha guy. You're, you're, you're who you are for yourself. So all these are going to attract her even more into you, letting her 
basically be wanting to be around you even longer but really it's ultimately just leading her to being turned on around you and it's letting you go ahead and touch any spot but there's specific spots where it's like you could go ahead and try now i just have to say this i didn't talk about a lot of options a lot of spots i kind of explained it to you guys i wanted that type of feel for this video but overall i could tell you so many different spots but fellas you could do a lot of things if you just start letting that imagination go ahead and and explore and think and you know what ask her or try it who knows but definitely please everything that i said you have to apply it and it definitely really works when you do it in the correct order all right so pay attention to what you're doing if it seems like it's not working maybe it's the order that you're doing or maybe you kind of kind of did something that kind of made it shift off but there's ways to get back on track okay fellas so i hope this video was helpful and if it was please give this video a big thumbs up and y'all already know please go ahead and check out everything that is linked down below and y'all will see me in my next video bye guys